Hi everybody, I'm Lawrence Todd at Design 911 and today I'm going to be giving you a slightly different tech talk. This is more of a history lesson for want of a better phrase on early 911 front brake calipers, specifically from 1965 to 89. Porsche first started using a disc and brake caliper braking system on their 356C in 1964. Like many car manufacturers, they carried across components that they used on previous models to models which superseded models, such as the early 911s that superseded the 356. One of these components was the brake calipers, but they made a slight change. By using a spacer between the two halves of the caliper that they used on the 356C, they're able to create this three-piece caliper, which was slightly wider. This allowed them to accommodate a wider brake disc than that was used on the 356 too. This brake disc is of a solid type with no vents. This arrangement of a solid disc and this three-piece caliper was used on the early 911s and 912s. A few years later, in 1967, Porsche bought out a new type of brake caliper. This was called the N-type caliper. This allowed Porsche to use a slightly thicker vented disc compared to the one that they used on their first run of 911s. You can see here how this disc is both thicker and vented compared to this one. The M-type caliper is almost identical in body or housing to the one used on the previous 911s. It still has the same three inch mounting pickup points and it used the same brake pads, but it differed in that this cutout here in the middle was much wider, allowing the use of a wider brake disc. The big upgrade in Porsche's brakes came in 1969 with the introduction of the S caliper. This was used on the B series of Porsche. The S caliper was manufactured specifically for Porsche by the ATE company. S stands for Schwer, which is German for heavy duty. Don't be fooled by their name. They weren't in fact heavy. In fact, they were the opposite. These calipers were made out of billet aluminium and weighed approximately 3.4 pounds, which is equal to one and a half kilos lighter than the M-type caliper. The S-type caliper also differed in that it was made from a single piece, unlike three pieces. It had a three and a half inch mount and it allowed the use of much bigger brake pads compared to that of the M-type and the early caliper, all while still using the same disc. S calipers were standard equipment on the high performance 911E and 911S models through 1973. In 1974, they were only found on the 911S and Carrera models. All other Porsches used the heavier duty three-piece cast iron M-type caliper. All other models used the heavier three-piece cast iron M-type caliper. In 1974, Porsche bought out another caliper, the A caliper. Again, this was designed and manufactured by ATE company but this time for Alfa Romeo, hence the name A-Type. The A-Type caliper was used on the 2.7 Carrera and the 3 liter SC 911 models. It was very similar in design to the S caliper, using exactly the same brake pad and disc. The only real significant difference to its design was in the material they used. Unlike the S-Type caliper, which was made from aluminium, the A-Type caliper went back to using cast iron. As a result, it was significantly heavier. The A-type caliper also differed from the S-type caliper in that they went back to, again, it being made from three pieces with two halves and then a central spacer. The last change they made to the A-type caliper was increasing the spacer by four millimeters. This allowed them to use a slightly thicker vented disc on the 3.2 Carrera models. This caliper was identical to the previous A-type caliper, except for that extra spacer, allowing them to use that vented disc. 
it also used pretty much exactly the same brake pads. Physically, they were exactly the same dimensions. However, the 3.2 Carrera with this upgraded A-type caliper saw the introduction of a wear sensor on Porsche brake pads for the first time. So that was a whistle-stop tour of Porsche 911 brake calipers from 65 to 89. If you're wondering which calipers you've got or which calipers your car should have, there are a few ways that you can kind of identify the caliper that you have. These early type cars had calipers that were made from cast iron and had a three inch mounting point. So if you measure the mounting point of your calipers, if it measures three inches, you've either got an M type caliper or a very early 911 caliper before it was given an official name. If you're trying to distinguish the difference between an M-type caliper or one of the very early calipers, a very early caliper won't fit over a vented disc. You will only be able to use this type of caliper with a solid disc. If your brake caliper is much larger in size, has three and a half inch mounts, and is made from aluminium, you've got a very nice S-type caliper. If your caliper is again much larger in size, made from cast iron, so quite heavy, and has a small spacer, then you have an A-type caliper. And if the spacer is, I don't know, it's about 10, 15 mil maybe, then you have a later A-type caliper. Some Porsches over the years have have had their brakes changed, upgraded, downgraded, you name it, and don't actually have the correct calipers on their car. If you wanna double check that you have got the correct caliper on your car, or you'd like help identifying which calipers you have on your car, get in touch with Design 911, send them an email, or give them a call, and they'll be more than happy to help. I hope you found this video useful on early 911 brake calipers.